football fans, welcome to the Football Kit Arcade. So recently, I've been really interested in J-League kits. So, from clubs like FC Tokyo, Toto Purple Sanga, Shimuzu S Pulse, stuff like that. The designs of these J-League kits are really, really unique. They have asymmetrical patterns, strange patterns that you don't usually see in, um, on a Manchester United kit or a Real Madrid kit. Things like that. That's why the J League kits are on a league of their own. It's like they have this uh, 90s vintage feel to modern uh, slim fit jerseys. So because of that, I decided to talk about the top 5 J League kits I have in my collection. Let's start the top 5 list. Here we have the San Freche Roshama 2019 home jersey. It's brand new with tags, manufactured by Nike. It has this Hisense uh, sponsor over here and Edon, which is an electrical company. So this is actually the player version. So you can see here, really, 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 really form-fitting. Usually when there's gold, that's when it's player version. More sponsorship at the back. Mazda. So it has this really zigzaggy design with these two shades of purple over here. So here, the, the player version is actually different from the usual Aeroswift vapor net material you see. It has this uh, breathable material at the back, much like their older player version. And yeah, that's. A really really unique uh, jersey. Something you really don't see in Europe. So number four on my list is actually the one I'm wearing. Shimizu S Pulse. So what I really love about this jersey is this pattern you see right in the middle of the kit. It has a world map right on top of it. And the reason why it has this world map design is because of their one of their first sponsors, which is the Japanese Airlines over here. This used this used to be over here um, instead of Suzuyo, which is a manufacturer, which is a logistics company. The design of this kit is one of a kind. You don't see uh, you don't see clubs in Europe uh, except for their third or fourth crazy kits that have this kind of design every single season. The material on this is pretty thick. But and durable, something it's not that searchable, it's not that comfortable actually. But it's definitely something that can last plenty of years. You can see here the club crest is sewn on, Puma logo sewn on, J League logo sewn on, also Shimizu S Pulse, one of the best designs on a home jersey. So, the next jersey that we have, jersey number three. This is Kashima Anthers home jersey from 1996. So this one is manufactured by Umbro and it features this uh, really cool geometrical pattern right across the shoulders and the sleeves. You can see the, these geometrical blue and red patterns over here. It's something you really don't see nowadays. It also has these jacquard patterns all over the jersey. Here, you can see right all the way from the top right to the bottom. You can see the J League patch is sewn on, as well as the Umbro logo and the Kashima Anthers crest. And Tostem sponsor is in this kind of gamuza material, felt gamuza material. It's kind of faded already. And even the yellow hat. Sponsorship is actually made out of cloth and sewn on. So what's interesting about the about this is that the, they really put their they really put their club motos on the kit. So you can see football dream, probably the club's motto. I really love Ombro. Ombro with J League is probably one of the best combinations ever. So, number two in my top five list is this Cerezo Osaka home jersey from 1994. 
preferred jersey that I was manufactured one year before I was born. This is still in pretty de decent condition. This goes to show that Japanese quality is top tier. Plenty of the material here um, are actually heat pressed on. So the Mizuno logo is uh, heat pressed on, the club crest, the sponsorship of Nippon Ham. So it also has this this patch that is for the 2002 World Cup which, which was held in Japan and in South Korea. If you can see, the quality of this daily patch is really really good. It's really thick, you can't fold it. Things I wish football jerseys had nowadays. Also has the city. Oh, okay, I think that's what this is. I think this is their prefecture. So at the back, here we have Capcom and uh, number seven. I think the last name of number seven was Minamoto. Not sure. So probably wasn't so famous. So what's interesting about this kit is this has this really cool collar with this button over here, blue and white stripes across the across the collar and this pocket, this lining on this, this the lining on the collar is really interesting. It has this geometrical tri triangular pattern right uh, right along the collar. But overall, one of the best JD kits I've ever seen. For the best J League jersey in my in my collection, it would probably be this one, Tokyo Verdi 1993. So it's sponsored by Maltz and manufactured by Mizuno. I think a lot of the J League jerseys back in the early 90s were sponsored by were manufactured actually by Mizuno. And it has this really really thick club crest. I love these. It's oversized. Looks really good on the kit. And Konami, video game company. That's this thick J League patch. Like the Srezo Osaka one showed earlier. And sponsored by Suntory, an alcohol beverage company. So. This is probably the best kit in my collection because the design is like a white canvas and you just threw uh, different shades of green paint on it right across the jersey. It's really silky and shiny and fits really well actually. Sadly, it's not in the best condition anymore. Come on, it's 27 years old. Slight damaging on the sp uh, sponsorship and uh, this one but you know, it's easily repaired very not, not something to worry about really jerseys were really one of a kind especially during the 90s quality wise design wise even the little details it's all about the little details that's what uh, makes a JD jersey really really unique so if you like this video please hit like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at the football kit arcade and follow my friends as well at Bleacher Street Elite.